Hey guys, it's Tech up here and welcome to a tutorial on how to install Android Nougat 7.0 on your Nexus 6. So you're going to go to this website that will be provided for you in the description and you're going to scroll down and find Nexus 6. You can do it for any device though, but in this case it's going to be Nexus 6. Then you're going to find the 7.0.0 file and you're going to press the word that says link on it. And then that's going to download the file which is going to be around 800 to 900 megabytes and you wait for that to download and then you extract it to for example the desktop. As you can see there's an Android 7.0 update available on my phone however I have root and that might interfere with it and cause my phone to be soft bricked. And I will show you that I am rooted so this will work with rooted devices however you will lose the root after you update. So as you can see the root is there on my phone. And just to show you which Android version I'm on I am currently on the beta version. So you can see um, that it's Android 7.0 Nougat and the build number is MPD90G, which is the latest beta. In order to do this, you need to plug in your Android phone into your PC. And after you did that, you also need Android debugging enabled. So as you can see, I already have it on the notification tray. However, if you do not have it, you will have to go to settings. And then you're going to scroll down to about phone, scroll down and press the build number 10 times. After you do that, you're going to have developer options and inside of developer options, you're going to enable something that's called USB debugging. All right, after you've done that, you're going to go to the folder that you extracted from the downloaded file that you took from the Google website. And if you don't want to lose your data, you're going to have to edit the flash all.bat file for Windows and you can open that with notepad or any other application and then you're going to have to remove the dash w and that's gonna pretty much not erase all of your data because that's what the dash w means and if you don't want to replace a custom bootloader that you have so for example twrp you're going to delete this line however i do not recommend it as it can interfere with the download after you've done any changes, you're going to save the file and then you can close it. After you've closed it, you can now double click and run the flash all.bat file. And what you're going to see here is it's going to be waiting for a device. So now you need to shut off your device and boot it into bootloader mode. So you're going to have to power off your device in order to get to the bootloader mode. And once your device is powered off, you're going to Press and hold the power button and the volume up key on your Nexus 6 and that's going to boot you into the bootloader. After a second or two your computer will recognize the device is in bootloader mode and then it's going to start running scripts. And at this point do not touch your phone at all, D don't do anything otherwise you can break your phone. It's going to shut off and restart itself a couple of times, that's alright, that always happens. And just wait for the script to finish. The process can take up to around 5 minutes. There was a time when I was alone Nowhere to go and no place to call home My only friend was the man in the moon And even sometimes he would go away too Then one night as I closed my eyes I saw a shadow flying After the scripts are done finishing, you can press any key to close the terminal and then your phone will boot. It can take up to 5 minutes and sometimes even up to 10 minutes, so don't worry if it seems like your phone is taking a long time. As you can see, there's no more pop-up saying that you're in the Android beta program and the phone starts just like normally. If we go ahead and unlock the device, I will show you that this is on the latest and full release Android version. So as you can see, none of the data has been erased because we removed that dash W in the flash all.bat file. And here you can see that the build number is indeed the latest and not a beta and that's pretty much it for the tutorial i hope you enjoyed 
watching. If it worked, make sure to leave a like. If you have any issues, make sure to comment them down below and I can try and fix them. Again, thank you very much for watching and I hope I'll see you in the next one.